previously. I hope. But the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. Okay, yes, I'm back in Abstergo Industries, and let's go to the Animus. Return to the Animus and finish Kenway's story, I believe. That's kind of like the next thing to do. It's all good. Few, few, a little gamer score, no. Trophy score, I guess it's called. On the PS3. <laughs> Trophy. Okay. Okay, this is weird. First person Animus controls. That's the first, ain't it? I think so. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Maybe I can see like a secret message that's hidden. The Great Iguana. In Agua, I mean. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect. Just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. You have my word. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. When my mind is settled and my blood is cool. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! <laughs> You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father, too. This is awkward. Please end fast. Oh my god, I'd say. And in the game. Well, there's my old friends. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a jack, though, right? Oh, is his wife coming, maybe? Oh, his daughter, right? Yes. Really? What? <laughs> what? What? Is this the credits? What? Come on. Come on. Yeah, okay. Okay. I guess it's okay. We're gonna end it with a cliffhanger. Uh. And you know, the story in the Edward story, it kind of, it ended nice, but uh, the story in the present, uh, that was kind of like a cliffhanger ending, it didn't quite resolve. So I guess they're kind of making 
So they're aiming to make Assassin's Creed 5 at least. They have a really open ending in the present. Uh, wherein, you know, Assassin's Creed 3 really was like... Assassin's Creed 3 was the end. Uh, but now they're looking to make Assassin's Creed 5, I guess. Uh, and yeah, it was a great game, really. Uh, a lot of fun, a lot of objectives. No, I mean side missions, a lot of fun Did stuff. The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny. On the boat. True. Let's go with travel speed. No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. I guess maybe I should listen I to this. Are they gonna continue with this until the credits end? Ship. that there's like some uh, nuggets. I've heard that they should watch the whole credits. Uh, that's what I heard, at least on the internet, the big internet. And uh, yeah, Assassin's Creed has often had these like interactive kind of credits, reduced stuff. Uh, a cool one was actually in Assassin's Creed 2, where you. Um, were fighting in the present as uh, credits rolled down, which was really awesome. That's a cool thing, way thing to do. Ah, okay, I guess I'm gonna listen a little bit. Now I can move the camera. Man, sailing for the horizon. Can I like turn the whole boat around? No land. Not much chance of that, I think. Um, Maybe I can find land. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick of the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> uh, oh, that's a whale. Okay, this is gonna be cool. Oh, isn't this where Haytham kills? This is from Assassin's Creed 3. <coughs> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry. I, uh, my daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Hazel? I can't see the stage. <sighs> Up we go. How's that? But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet.
meet your mother for some chocolate at once. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now. I wonder if... Wow. Okay, I'm thinking that... This is just my... So that one coming. <laughs> no, I did not see that coming. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that the guy you kill in the start, the intro of Assassin's Creed 3 when they're playing as Heath and McKinley, is that maybe Edward Kenway? I, I, I'll have to replay and uh, see what's what. But I have a feeling that you're actually killing Edward Kenway in the start. Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But I'm not sure. No, I'm not gonna skip. I'm not gonna skip. We're gonna wait here. And yeah. Let's talk about it a little bit. Let's do a little uh, review of the game. I thought... Uh, okay, let's start with the story. I think the story was... Uh, was good overall. Uh, I started by preferring the story in kind of the present and then not so much the one in the past which was I started preferring the like the Abstergo story over the uh, Kenway story but then kind of mid game or I mean like the last three four acts I kind of cared more and more about uh, what happened to Kenway and what the what's up with the sage and Roberts and the observatory that was getting more and more exciting and yeah I like the story except for the kind of cliffhanger with the uh, you know the sage at the end and uh, was it Juno who was kind of like in a machine and didn't get released or something and we got like a we got a shot with something a syringe uh, with some kind of poison uh, that didn't she said it was nothing, but I'm kind of thinking that that isn't true, isn't true, and yeah, so I'm kind of excited to see where they're gonna go from this, and also graphics were, they were nice, and a lot of nice graphics on the ocean, and ships looked great, and yeah, it looked look pretty, Not nothing special. But you know, it looked pretty. And um, yeah, a lot of things to do, which was great. A uh, lot of side missions. Kinda not a lot more. Well, actually, it might be a lot more than, was in, than it was in um, Assassin's Creed 3. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. But it, yeah, it feels like a lot. I have not completed all of them by far. So I'm gonna do some more, and yeah, looking great. And yeah, voice acting was also good. It was uh, above standard, above average. And yeah, I think I'll give this game on a score. I think I give it an eight out of ten, maybe, or maybe eight and a half. A, s a strong 8, I give it a strong 8 out of 10. Uh, I, I still think that uh, Assassin's Creed 2 is the best one by far. Or not by far, but you know, it's the best one. Uh, but maybe this is one is like a second place, and uh, Assassin's Creed 3 is third place, maybe. That's what I'm feeling right now. It was a great game. Yeah, I really like the setting. The setting was awesome. Pirates shooting, controlling a boat. Uh, the only thing kind of bothered me was like the the fleet thing. Uh, they've they've had similar things in like uh, the previous games. We have like the Brotherhood, which you control and send on missions. But this time, you kind of feel I don't know. I really didn't care about it, and that's weird because uh, in Brotherhood and all those other games, I've been sending my people on missions like all the time, and you also use them in combat. 
so that might have something to do with it because in previous games you, you know you use the guys you recruit and send on missions you use them in combat as well so it's a point in leveling them up and uh, sending them on missions but yeah I think they underplayed that kind of um, that aspect of the game the fleet thing it would be cool if you could like summon them when you were um, on the sea and travel as a fleet for instance that would have been a cool thing uh, but yeah just me picking a little thing you what I didn't like and this credit scene is just going on forever uh, I'm just gonna wait here until the credits is totally finished and you know maybe maybe we'll get a little nugget like in uh, I'm not sure actually <laughs> if there was something after the credits in the previous games I think there might have been um, Chris Kirkpatrick uh, yeah are we at the end soon? What? there's so many guys in Singapore come on I'm not really sure if the one thing I'm kind of not sure about is if the original, if the same studio, I know it's uh, it's Ubisoft, but did the same guys that made. I have a feeling that this game was made by someone who didn't do the original trilogy of Assassin's Creed One, Two, and Three. Uh, I think it was made by like another part of Ubisoft, maybe. I might just be completely wrong here. Uh, but yeah. Still great. Still an awesome game. A lot of stuff. I also liked like the um, computers you can hack in the present or future. And like the little notes and collectibles and stuff. And by the way, the, the clue bells in, uh, when you were controlling Elric Kenway in the pirate time, pirate age. You have these little balls with like a note in them, and I'm pretty sure they are written by um, by uh, Roberts. Uh, I kind of get an idea that they're written by Roberts in his like maybe different lives, as he's um, dying and being reborn. Maybe I read a few of them, and the, it, it talks about how he um, was born as someone else, and a lot of stuff like that. Here's the Inception music again, by the way. And now that I said it, uh, it was over, of course. Something. Special thanks. That's usually what's at the end. And I've been sitting here for tw th 35 minutes. <laughs> there, there's special thanks, and there's only thanks. Yeah. Sure, sure. You gotta give me something. You gotta, I, I don't care what it is, really. Just give me something. Just give me something. Uh, yeah, I might. I might have skipped over here. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna upload the whole fucking credit stuff because that takes at least half an hour. Oh, okay, the total video size right now is 40 minutes long. Adobe Flash? Okay, cool engine there, bro. Or uh, I really don't know the name of the engine there is. Okay, okay, we're getting closer. We're getting real close. Havoc, Havoc engine, of course. were harmed in the making of this game, yeah. That's kind of fun, but it's not what I was looking for. Don't tell me 
I could have skipped the whole thing. No. 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 No, 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 Okay. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I guess it's still a lot to do. Tell me if you want to see me do it. Uh, and yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I think there's a game. Oh my god. Nothing. Target him, but not shoot him. Okay, whatever, guys. Thanks for watching the series. It's been a, uh, it's been a pleasure, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed playing the game. Great game, great fun, and fuck the credits for not giving me anything. And yeah, that's about it. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.